Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Power, the supreme name of God. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Second lesson, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Golden text, and Matthew chapter 11, verses 3 to 5. And said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again these things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Spiritual chorus. No other power would assume glory. Only the Lord would be glorified. The true name of God. Quote. Brethren, the above text and chorus give in summary God's other name. God's true name is power. The Almighty, whose name is incontestable and unrivaled, the Holy Spirit is the same power. Christ was also the manifestation of the same power. God exhibited that same power through Moses in Pharaoh's palace during his mission that was meant to liberate the children of Israel. On arrival at Pharaoh's palace, Moses demonstrated a sign from the Almighty God to validate his mission by tricking the staff in his hand and it changed into a serpent. Pharaoh laughed at Moses and called in his magicians who also performed what Moses did. But to demonstrate the power of God, Moses' serpent swallowed up Pharaoh's magician's serpent that was to prove to Pharaoh and the entire world that God is the Almighty. Spiritual chorus. The power of Satan, the power of Satan that is a true, and in the, the work of God has been destroyed. God is absolute power, brethren. This gospel proves wrong the assertion that position surpasses power. Power itself is God. If anyone holds that position is greater than power, he is invariably saying that man is greater than God. People like Nebuchadnezzar occupied exalted positions, but were powerless. The kingdom of God is nothing other than power. Man in his inquisitiveness and lust for dominance always attempts to, Im to imitate God and dominate always attempt to initiate God. Man, in his inquisitiveness and lust for dominance, always attempts to imitate God and even try to outwit him, but forget that in God is immense power concentrated. This is the Christhood. 
Christ is not an ordinary name, but the status of absolute power. God subdues all men in distinguished positions because he is the Almighty, the Supreme. Our Lord Jesus Christ asked his disciples who men said that he was, and they mentioned Jeremiah, Elijah, a prophet, and so on. He then turned to his disciples and questioned them who they thought him to be. Peter quickly rose and said he was the Christ, the Holy One of God. And Christ charged him not to tell it to anybody. Did you know that Christ is God? And that Christ is power? That was the name the disciples used to give to a great phenomenon. He warned his disciples to keep that revelation secret until the appointed time. That is, after his ascension. People may answer various other names such as Okon, Asuko, James, and so on, but not Christ. Anybody who tells you that his name is Christ is a liar and is being blasphemous. Our Lord Jesus Christ was accorded the status only when and after he had attained the Christhood, fulfilled the required conditions which included persecution, crucifixion, and resurrection. It is for this reason that Paul said he counted all the gains of this world for naught, so that he would own Christ. It was after the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ and his ascension that every power in heaven and earth was given to him. That name Christ became the key and gateway to every entrance. Let our first lesson be read again. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. The office of the Christ. Brethren, Christ is the exalted office and powerful name. The name Christ is power which is God. Christ therefore is God. But the Jews did not know this fact. The way of God is unknown to any man. Stubborn people need equal measure of force to deal with them. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. The same power can manifest in any name to carry out the same work wherever. Therefore, there is abundance of absolute power. It should be known that God is there. When the Lord was empowered, he was taken into the wilderness where he underwent various temptations. But because he is the Almighty, he has overcome all of the temptations. He then became the Christ of God. He is the only supreme being who treads the universe and the world beyond the way he likes. Spiritual Chorus Do not dread the lion. I say do not dread the lion, for the lions are under locks. Brethren, it is practically impossible for God to disclose to man who he is. And no man knows him. Men are apt to claim that our Lord Jesus Christ had died and had long been, bur been buried. The question is, who is the Christ? In his name, the dead were raised, the sick healed, the lame walk, and so on. That is the name upon which you call and everything is done. Christ is the only hope. And the name that subdues all other spirits. It is, therefore, erroneous for anyone to say that Christ is dead. This explains why he told his disciples after his resurrection to wait for him in Jerusalem until he has endowed them with power from on high. 
it is impossible for anyone to do anything except it is done in his name. You cannot preach or pray successfully and unchallenged by the principalities and forces except in his name. And you would be defeated even by an ant if you attempted to work in any other name other than Christ. It is the power of Christ alone that is capable of conquering the whole earth. Spiritual Chorus He has been given power. He has been given power to destroy the works of darkness. This dreadful world, brethren, the world is a terrible place. If God were not almighty, the elemental power would have had a field there. Even, even the lizards and the ants demonstrate power. The armed robbers, lawyers and judges, and virtually all the inhabitants of the earth exhibit once from one form of power or another. No man has power except Christ. The Pharisees, out of unbelief and ignorance, got confused and accused Christ of having the power of Beelzebub. The same ignorance persists till today. Even members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star and Star also express ignorance and unbelief by accepting the proverbial heaven helps those who help themselves. What is true in what is told to those who consult oracles and seers? It is only our Lord Jesus Christ who endures forever. He is the only one who had been before the world was. It is only those who lust and thirst for Christ that sees him and know his power. Men of the world have reached their wits and, and have become so powerless. The owner of all powers has withdrawn and put it into custody. Wherever you find unfathomable power and form and from whoever it radiates, know that there is Christ in him. That was the power the kingdom of God has revealed to King Nebuchadnezzar. It was revealed to him that there shall come kingdoms in their succession, but there shall be one kingdom that would emerge, and it shall swallow all other kingdoms and reign forever. This is the kingdom and the power that was talked about, that every knee shall bow unto, and whose praises all tongues shall sing. Any man who did not know that God is power, almighty, omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient should know it now. No other person or thing reigns other than himself. He is the creator of all things. If God had not visited, if God had not vested in him the power, he would not have been able to rule over all the creation. Any man desirous of power invariably desires God. There is no other place to locate God, the power, other than in Christ. The kingdom of God consists of power. This explains why Christ advised that Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. A man who is devoid of power is empty. The trees, the stones, the air, rivers, 
Son and all the creatures represent God's manifestation. God can use any of these creatures to discipline an offender or stubborn person. Christ is therefore the sum total of creation. Let our second lesson be re-examined. Second lesson, St. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. The kingdom of God is power. Brethren, who is he that has power in the world? Anybody who is without power cannot do anything. Our Lord Jesus Christ has taken stock of the world and realized how empty the world is. This explains why he said it was expedient that he goes away. For if he goes not away, the Comforter would not come. But if he did, he would send the Comforter to guide us into, will guide us into all truth. The power of God is not derivable from the amount of wealth or number of children one has. Now is the time for us to seek the power. The people of olden times did not seek the power and for that reason they saw Christ to be possessed of demon and led by the power of Beelzebub. Many people and churches attempt to rebuke in Jesus name. The demon too rebukes in the same name. The kingdom and power was clearly revealed to Paul so that he had to surrender and denied all that he had and sought Christ. Man without power can do nothing. He does not have eyes to see, ears to hear, legs to walk, and mind to think. Let us, therefore, first seek God's kingdom, for it is the power and medium through which all things are done. All the societies, both secret and open, have all withered and swept away because they have no power. People assemble only to deceive themselves. It is said that the swiftness of the fingers deceive the eyes. Christ is powerful and real. Christ is the controlling power in heaven and on earth. That is why he said in Luke chapter 19 verse 27. But those my enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Brethren, it is meant that we obey and believe him. Your money and all the material things would not help you. He has come with all the heavenly hosts. He is the husband man referred to in the scripture. All the other creatures like ants, lizards, birds and fish have their respective powers. The absolute power resides with God. Hence Christ said, if Satan fights against Satan, his kingdom is divided and would Im and hood imminently crumble. Human beings play hide and seek games and as birds of the same feather they flock together in sin. Christ alone stands out distinct, most gracious and powerful. On mere calling upon the name of Christ, wonders are wrought and every other power is subdued. When the vagabond Jews met the demonic man, they attempted to rebuke him in the name of our Lord Jesus. But the demonic responded that, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who art thou? The people became terrified. This proves that even demons recognize and worship him because he is the Almighty. He grinds to dust any person he falls on. Such is God's power 
and the power found in brotherhood. This is why brotherhood is known to different people as wonderful and powerful. The secret manifestation. Brethren, you would note that the lion is the most powerful of all animals, yet it has to go into hiding in order to be able to catch its prey. The lion never publicizes its presence. God in that manner has taken the world by surprise with a new name. The whole world still watching and waiting for him, yet he is performing wonders and assuming great dimensions. He has come with a new name and thus transformed all things. The old things and the worldly orders have drifted into oblivion. There is no other one expected but the comforter the, and power that is here. This is his last debut. All the angels and spirits obey him. He is the solution to all problems. This gospel has proven that except God builds a house or keeps watch over a city, he that builds or keeps watch do so in vain. People are suffering, others are dying, and various other problems abound all because man is without power and life. Any man that has eternal life, reasoning ability and power should be seen as a man who embodies God. Obedience itself is better than sacrifice and is also a spiritual weapon. You are commanded to heal, preach and freely render all services in the kingdom. Freely you have received, therefore freely you should also give. What do you think is the repercussion since you continue to steal, to hate, to kill and perpetrate other vices that are forbidden? The power of God is repelled as long as you persist in sinfulness. Christ is the Christ in his reply to John confirmed that God is power. Read the golden text again. Golden text sent Matthew chapter 11 verses 3 to 5 and said unto him, Art thou he that should come or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor of the gospel preach unto them. Christ is the cornerstone. Christ is the cornerstone. Brethren, this passage proves that God is power, which the world does not have. Men are engrossed in being in, in, initiated into secret societies and indulging in diabolical activities which the, with the hope of sustaining themselves and having no problem in life. Such people lie in the world of illusion because life is not found in such Vainful venture. The only source of life, of freedom, and of power is in Christ. Let Christ be your personal friend, Savior, and Father. He is the cornerstone and the ultimate power. Our Lord Jesus Christ subdues every other power. Many persons who have made attempts at the life of members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star have come out testifying to the wonderful power in Brotherhood. Some brethren in Brotherhood like Brother Okilo had 
initiated into about 36 diverse secret societies. There is no power in these societies. Instead of ardently seeking the power of Christ, you are engrossed in fasting and praying for money, for food, for wives, for husbands and other material things. It is only in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star that the dead are raised, the lame made to walk, and other kinds of problems solved. Is there any secret society that has ever solved any problem? These societies merely increase your problem. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, there is no clapping of hands, there is no burning of candles or incenses and practice of incantation there was a certain brother whose elder brother happened to be an occultist his elder brother tried all possible ways to destroy him because he refused to initiate into the secret society which he the elder brother belonged later the elder brother in pretense sought for admission for his younger brother in the United States where the headquarters of their secret society called the Mormon Church was situated. The arrangement was to lure his younger brother to get initiated or to destroy him there if he remains adamant. Before the brother arrived at his destination in the United States, he first stopped over at his elder brother's place in the United States and by which time the man had fully assembled his diabolical tools in readiness to kill his younger brother without knowing that the father had destroyed his occult temple. All that the younger brother did when he got there was to ask his elder brother to kneel down and he prayed for him and consequently the elder brother confessed how impossible it is to eliminate the younger brother and how the father had often overcome the various wicked plans and subdued the elder brother. Such is the power in this kingdom. We are indeed the luckiest generation to have Christ, to have power and God in our midst. When John the Baptist expressed doubt about the divine person of our Lord Jesus Christ while in prison, the Lord replied that the dead have been revived, the lame made to walk, blind restored, and lepers are cleansed. He enjoined his disciples to go and preach the kingdom of God to the world. There are many secret societies that drink human blood and eat human flesh. What do these activities signify? Has that brought peace, eternal life and power to man? God is here. He has manifested with his complete power and force. Only the children of perdition leave the kingdom in search of power. The kingdom has all the good things and joy. He has come with a new name and brought power to them that thirst for him. Only children of perdition would seek salvation in the world. Spiritual chorus. I have raised the dead. I have raised the dead so that you would not have any reason to defend yourself. Brethren, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. It is unnecessarily dangerous to go in search of life, of power, and other things in secret societies. The subterranean and mountain top. There is no salvation in these places. The more one search for God in these places, the more elusive he appears to be. He is here on earth and lavishly available to all that seek him.
Beloved, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.